It's your boy Lagan24 coming at you with some Titanfall 2. What? I spit. I spit everywhere. It just it came out of my mouth and everything's ruined. What's up, every body? What's going on, you guys? And welcome to Titanfall 2. I got the pre alpha access. Uh, thanks to the homie cost staff over there at TK. TK all day, and don't you forget it. So listen, I'm going to give you kind of my backstory with Titanfall before I jump into my review of Titanfall 2. And this is not an advertisement. This is not a paid uh, video. I am going to give you my honest opinions about this game. I don't want you guys to waste your money if I don't feel the game's any good. Which brings me to this. Titanfall 1. Huge maps. Uh, of course, the maps were huge so it could accommodate... The giant robots, right? Giant robots equals giant maps. Now, the problem with that is, is that you did not see any infantry on the other team for a long time. You just run into all these bots that they put on the map to kind of counterbalance the fact that they had such big maps. They put in bots so you would have something to do. Like, they knew that their maps were freaking big and we got to put in bots or this game's going to suck. Well, the game sucked because of the bots. They're horrible. They're horrible bots, so you lull yourself into this false sense of security and you're killing these easy bots. You run across a player, neither one of you are really paying attention because you've been killing bots the last 10 minutes. And you get into a gunfight thinking you're killing a bot, but alas, it's a player. He jumps out of the way and kills you because bots aren't moving. They're not jumping around, so you know it's another player at that point. So listen, that was my problem with Titanfall 1. Now, what can they do to fix this? Make the map smaller? Well, that's not gonna work because the Titans. Remove the bots? Can't do that either, because if you do that, we're not gonna have a lot of action. So you see what the problem is, right? This seems like they've created a formula that they can't really fix. So a lot of people are like, well, if they just did like 12v12, that would fix the problem. Well, not necessarily. But then you're gonna have 24 potential freaking Titans on the map at once. That would be so stupid. So let's hope that didn't happen, right? It didn't, it did, spoiler alert. It's not happening. If you're watching the, if you're watching the video, it's not happening. So listen. Uh, that being said, I went into this with like just bad expectations. Didn't think this game was going to be any good at all. And in a way, I was right. Like so, they couldn't improve on the things that I just told you that they couldn't improve on. But I did end up having fun actually. Uh, there's a grappling hook and a sniper class, and that was the only class I had fun with using this, the grappling hook to get to high. Uh, places to get a good overwatch overlook position on the map. I was able to spot out actual uh, people instead of bots and was able to snipe at them and then grapple to another high spot and that was kind of fun for me. Like I really enjoyed that. And then it's always fun to get inside of a Titan, right? You get inside of a Titan, you get better with your Titan, you start upgrading the Titan, getting new weapons, getting new um, attachments for the Titan and he stays on the map longer and longer the better you get with him so the titans are a lot of fun too i also found that while i was playing as a pilot on the ground i squint with my eye a lot when i talk i'm just noticing that face cam so when you're when you're on the ground as a pilot i also find it very fun and challenging uh to try to take out titans while you're a person it's a lot of fun you get the anti-titan um secondary should you choose to lo load out with it so you're taking shots at it, you're throwing grenades at it, you're dodging it, trying not to get stepped on by it. You can jump on its back and remove like the power core from it. Like that's fun. That is fun and that is a challenge. I think sniping is a challenge in general in any first person shooter. So anytime you get a kill the sniper, unless that's what you do, unless you're just like a sniping pro, uh, I feel very rewarded. So maybe that's all it was, but I'm gonna say as a whole, I went into this with wanting to hate it, wanting to hate it, uh, but I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I'm not going to say it was a great game because it wasn't, uh, but I didn't hate it, didn't love it. So I don't know if you're a Titanfall fan and I didn't hate it, I guess that means you would probably really enjoy it. There wasn't a lot of options with this pre-alpha though, so I only got to play two maps. There were only a couple of weapons in each of the categories. I'm assuming that is going to change though. Uh, for the beta, hopefully, fingers crossed, and of course for the final launch of the game. There's only two snipers. Uh, you earn credits. You can un uh, you can spend your credits to unlock attachments and uh, various things. There are these really cool robots though, as as like kind of like a kill streak that you can earn. Uh, they're called ticks. 
and hopefully there's more stuff like that kill streak sort of rewards in the game but you throw out this disc and out of this disc pops out these little drones that then will go seek out enemies and explode when they get near them so you can get just a couple of random kills because there's these little robots look like spiders wandering around the map so i thought that was kind of cool that was a cool addition i can't i don't think they had that in titanfall one you guys will let me know it out in the comment section so uh my review is yeah it wasn't bad and that's it hope you enjoyed the video drop a like if you did as always it's been your boy lagging 24 and i will see you next time